In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use objects and connections. This is the foundation for how to build everything inside Giru, so pay close attention. It's very simple. We're just going to drag objects from the left-hand menu onto the canvas you know, that we want to work with. So let's say we're going to start a new marketing funnel and we're going to have an opt-in page started off. So we drag the opt-in page object from the menu onto the canvas and now we have an opt-in page object. It is worth pointing out, however, you can build a marketing funnel flow in any order that you want. So if you have one that exists on the canvas, but you decide you wanted to add some other objects to where everything would start, you can add those objects later. So you don't have to add things to the canvas in a specific order. But let's say we're going to start with an opt-in page, and then that opt-in page is going to go to a thank you page for all the people that took the yes path. In other words, they did opt into the page they will next be shown a thank you page. Now that we have a thank you page object on the canvas, we need to connect it to the opt-in page and specifically to the Y path. We can do that in one of two ways. If you move the object very close to the other object, you'll see that Giru automatically creates that line connection for you. you. Just move them close, you see it come up. And then you can reposition the object wherever you want and the line just extends to wherever you put it. If you want to delete a line, like if you accidentally make it, you just click it, you'll see the two blue dots that are showing that it's highlighted. Then you either use the delete key on your keyboard or you go up to this top canvas toolbar, you'll see the X, you can click that. Either one will delete it. So the delete key or using the X at the top. Now why that redundancy is there is because if you're on a tablet or mobile device and you don't have a keyboard showing, you can just tap that X key once you have something highlighted. So you can do that delete function for anything you build on the canvas. If you want to get rid of this thank you page, you click and highlight it, and then you click the delete key and it's gone. So let's say we want to create the connection manually. We don't want to put them close together in auto snap. The way we do that is you click on the Y path and you hold the mouse down or you hold your finger down on the tablet. You'll see that circle now come up on the thank you page, still holding the mouse, you drag the line over, and when you have it onto the object, you'll see it becomes that big dotted line. Then you let go, and it's created your connection. Then, of course, you can move the object, and the line will extend wherever you're going to put it on the canvas. So if you click on an object, you'll see its settings come up. So if you single click, you'll get to its settings. Now, all of these settings areas are different based on the object type. A sales page object will have settings for products, product names, prices, costs, many other things than what you'll see, for example, inside this opt-in page. This just has, you can change the name of the page, which is just to be shown on the canvas so you know what it's for, and you can change the opt-in rate percentage. Of course, you also have options within these different settings where you can turn the end port off if you're not going to be using it. You can add notes inside the object, just, you know, for your own reference. You can change the color of the object or you can create a snapshot. If that object, let's say, is representing a real web page that already exists and you want it to show a nice pretty thumbnail of what that page looks like, you can put that URL in here and create a snapshot to be replaced in this example with that blue just template design. Whether to change that blue design to red, we would just click red, click save. Now we see we've changed it just to red just for aesthetic purposes. Now, if we wish to highlight more than one object at the same time, because if we click, we can move around one object. But what if we want to move both of these objects and their connection together at the same time? In order to do that, you'll notice the mouse pointer currently on the screen. If you double click your mouse, the mouse will switch to a crosshair. This is our selection tool. Double click again, it goes back. The other way to jump from the normal mouse pointer single click object control kind of state and this crosshair selection, you can come up here to the toolbar and click the rectangle tool to switch over to that mouse state. So it's another way to do it. You simply click, hold, and drag and highlight whatever objects you want to highlight them. And you now see they both have this blue highlighting around the objects. We see the dots highlighting the line there. Now we click any of this and we can drag and move it around the canvas. If we wanted to duplicate whatever's highlighted, whether it's a single object or it's a group of objects like this, 
we can go up to the toolbar and click the first icon, which is our clone tool, and it duplicates those objects. We can do it as many times as we want to keep duplicating those two objects. We could then highlight four of them if we wanted to, and we could actually duplicate all four. So as you can see, once you have things highlighted, you could just click that clone tool in order to clone that exact group of objects. You'll see Giru try to auto make some of these connections because the icons and objects were close together. You can click delete and delete whatever's highlighted to remove them from the screen very quickly. Uh, and of course, if we wanted to create anything else, we just drag it onto the canvas and then we just start making the connection lines. So those are the basics of how you create objects, how you connect them, how you delete them, how you delete connection lines, how you draw them manually. You can move close to auto snap or you can draw them by holding down on a wire end path and then moving it to the object you wish, wish to draw the line to. And then of course you can move them around the canvas to create any kind of design and flow that you want to create.